Illustrator got a new update, which would be the contextual taskbar. Of course, it started in Photoshop and now you can see it in Illustrator as well. All right, so I'm gonna select the shape. I'm gonna select the rectangle. I'm gonna select the selection tool and check this out. We got the contextual bar right here. And we got a couple of options you can click on. For example, edit path. So basically you can edit the anchor points however you like. So right now I'm on the selection tool, which is this tool right here. And if I click on edit path, it is going to jump onto the direct selection tool. And as you can see, the arrow is white. So this way, basically you can edit and customize the anchor points however you like. I'm gonna go and work on these anchor points. And then we got a couple of other options. We got the repeat. So basically we got the radial, the grid and the mirror. The radial is going to create copies in a radial style. You can multiply them, you can reduce it. You also got the grid. This is eventually going to create patterns out of this. It has more customizations. It's really handy. And not at least we got the mirror. It is going to mirror the shape and it's going to reflect it, which is really cool. And then you also have the duplicate this object. Basically what this does is creates another copy on the front. It works the same way like when you go to the edit, paste in front, it is going to paste another copy on the top. And next we got the locking option, you click on it and it's going to lock the shape. But as you can see, I got a bounding box going on with a little bit of icon here. If I click on it, it is going to unlock it. Now, if you want this option, you're gonna to need to enable it. So you're gonna to need to go to edit, preference, and yeah, select selection and anchor display. And all you need to do is check this box, select and unlock object on canvas, click okay. I also can move the contextual bar by selecting it from here and you can move it around and this way it won't bother you all the time. Or you can reset it by going to the three dots and going to reset bar position and check this out. So if I move around the shape, the contextual bar is going to move with it, which is a little bit more annoying. And you also got a couple of more options like show properties panel. It is going to highlight the properties panel. And then we also got the hide bar if you wanna hide it. You also can activate it by going to the windows and select contextual taskbar. And then I gotta select the type tool. And as you can see, we got a new contextual bar here where you can select whatever fonts you like. I'm gonna type in the pop-ins. And in this situation is a little bit annoying because it's hiding the font and you cannot see the preview, but I'm gonna roll with the medium and you also can increase or decrease the size. And then if you select the selection tool, it is gonna change up the options a little bit. We have here the area type. If you click on it, check this out. You can type in phrases in this bounding box. And then we also have the outline text. Click on it and now it's uneditable. And you also can select the text and shape and click on group. This way it's gonna group it. Okay, so let's go on. Here we got a more complex shape and you also can recolor this. So check this out, we got the recolor button. Click on it and it's going to pop up this recolor settings where you can change it up and customize it. There you go. Now when you have a bitemap image imported, the taskbar also switches. You also can click on mask image and you can, for example, narrow it in and mask it that way. Now you also have the image trace. I'm gonna click on image trace and yeah, look at that. If you wanna customize this further, you can click on Windows and select Image Trace so you can see all the properties. Now let's say you got a sketch that you wanna revectorize it with Pen Tool, but it needs more contrast in here. What I gotta do is link it, relink image, and check this out, we got this Edit Original. So I'm gonna click on it and it's going to save it as a PSD file and it's also gonna rename it as AI Image. Click on Save, File Successfully Saved, click OK. And now we're gonna to go to the Photoshop Photoshop, check this out, click on update, and it's going to bring it directly into Photoshop. So I gotta go to the adjustments, levels, make it high contrast, and I gotta make it black and white as well. Now I gotta go to file and save. And now let's go back to Illustrator. We got the linked image here, and all you need to do is go down here and click on relink. And I'm gonna double click on the AI image and it's going to replace it with the new image. And if you wanna do some more edits, you can again click on edit the image in Photoshop and it's gonna open up in Photoshop and you just edit here. For example, I'm gonna add a gradient map, drop some color in, click OK, press on Control S. Let's go back to Illustrator and check this out. Some files are missing or modified in the links panel. Would you like to update them now? Yes and it is going to update it automatically. 
And that's how you work with the new contextual taskbar here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.